Hey guys, welcome back to Z Code System here on the channel. Today we're going to be talking a little bit. <clears throat> hey guys, welcome back to Z Code System and our channel here on YouTube. Where today we're going to talk a little bit about Major League Baseball opening day, and we're going to give two predictions for the games coming up on Thursday, July 23rd, which is going to see the New York Yankees taking on the World Series winners of last year, the Washington Nationals, as well as the San Francisco Giants playing the LA Dodgers in a big game down at Chavez Ravine. Now, it is going to be opening day with two games on Thursday. We finally get up to uh, this postponed uh, baseball season, which will see 60 games played. And we've talked about that in recent videos here on YouTube. So you can go back and check out the Z Code System channel and you can find out uh, everything that we've updated you on previously, uh, including last week's video uh, on our show about uh, the six game season and some of the little tweaks and uh, rule changes that will be happening, uh, especially the extra innings rules uh, change that is going to be happening, as well as we looked at the World Series favorites. Now, this week on Thursday, we're going to see the two favorites to win the World Series, according to leading sports books, the Yankees and the Dodgers playing. So it's going to be a really exciting first day. And then on Friday, July 24, we're going to see almost a full slate of games as uh, the rest of the baseball league or Major League Baseball uh, gets in on things and gets going. So it'll be a very uh, exciting week. And I hope you're keeping safe and getting excited about the games coming up and all the betting opportunities you will have on Major League Baseball now that baseball's back. So today we're gonna to take a look at, like I said, those two games. Uh, but before we do that, I just wanna draw your attention to the blog, as you can see right in front of you. So there is our uh, latest blog with the predictions that we have posted today. And then you can also scroll down. Of course, uh, we've got Chuck Norris there on Z Code, as well as last week we had our Premier League predictions, or this week actually, on the 20th, we had our Premier League predictions up. And if we continue to scroll down just a little bit more, we've got a few other things to draw your attention to, such as the Z Live Android app, which is up and ready uh, to go. So definitely check that out. And uh, one other thing uh, that we have that we want to draw your attention to is the Spot the Ball game that we have going on where you can win $500 on Z Code system. So as you can see here, we have the spot the ball game and you can get on this uh, by going to zcodesystem.com backslash blog and you can scroll down the page and you will find the spot the ball game, which has been going on since the 14th of July. And uh, you can get on this to win $500. And this is a great way to get on, uh, get uh, some betting funds and to continue to wager on various sports that you like, whether it be uh, Major League Baseball or soccer or the upcoming NHL and NBA restarts where you'll be able to bet on all of those great games coming up. And we'll be having some videos come up in the this week and next, as well as some blogs talking about those restarts from the NBA and NHL. Now, of course, this is our spot the ball game. So all you have to do is go over to the blog to enter and spot the ball, and you will be able to, or in line, to win $500 or a new iPhone 11. So go and check that out, guys, and uh, enjoy that new game from Z Code System. Now, with games first pitch uh, around roughly 24 hours away or so, uh, let's get on to our picks and look at those with the VIP club. Okay, guys, so the first game that we're going to have a look at is the New York Yankees taking on the Washington Nationals. And, of course, the Nationals won the World Series last year. The Yankees, always favorites to win the World Series every season when we get going uh, because of all that spending that they do. Now, you know, funny enough, I've been reading for the second time the book Moneyball recently, um, which is, a you know, a really entertaining book. And, um, you know, one of the uh, uh, storylines in the book is the New York Yankees with all that spending power uh, buying world championships, which, you know, they don't actually really do, uh, at least after that dynasty uh, in the 90s. The Yankees are not necessarily the uh, World Series winner year in, year out. But uh, the Yankees do go in once again this season as Sportsbook's leading favorite uh, in, uh, in uh, odds to win the World Series. And uh, they go in with the Dodgers as co-favorites, actually. And they'll be taking on the New York Yankees. And as you can see, they're going to see an excellent pitchers matchup coming up with Garrett Cole going up against Max Scherzer. Now, Scherzer was a big reason that the Nationals won the World Series last year. He's 35 going into this game, uh, this season, 35 years old. So you know he's getting a lot of uh, age on that arm. 
So uh, that could play a factor in this because the teams are going into the 60 game season with a lack of preparation, a lack of spring training games. So that could really play a part, in my opinion, on some of these older players and older pitchers. So he could, you know, take a bit to get up to speed uh, coming into the season. Now he's going to be taking on Garrett Cole, who is the highest paid pitcher in Major League Baseball history and signed a $324 million contract in the offseason with the New York Yankees. So Cole goes into this um, with a lot of pressure on his shoulders, really, because he's going to need to perform for the Yankees. He's been brought in to lead them to a World Series. As we all know, Cole was with the Houston Astros last season, helping them get to the World Series once more, and he posted a 20-5 and record. Uh, with the Astros. So he's going to be a tough player to beat. He's a bit younger than Max Scherzer. I believe he's only 28 going into the season. So he's going to have some age on his side uh, with this game, as well as those big bats of the Yankees. So uh, a big game. Scherzer last year, only 11 and seven in the regular season. But again, of course, the Nationals did win the World Series. They won 93 games, uh, but did finish second in the National League East. Uh, and won the World Series thanks to being a wild card. Now, the Yankees won 103 games in Major League Baseball last year and uh, were fantastic. Uh, but, of course, because of the playoffs, they did get knocked out uh, in the postseason. So um, I like the uh, Yankees in this game. I have to say I really think Cole will be good going into this. And I think he's going to get the uh, lead the Yankees to a win. Now, will he pitch? Um, you know, five innings to get the win, six innings to get the win. I don't really think that uh, he'll go that long because I, it's you got to expect a lot of the starting pitchers to be on pitch counts. Uh, of course, usually in uh, early in the season in Major League Baseball, pitchers are on pitch counts. And I think it's going to be uh, even more of an issue uh, with this 60-game season and the lack of prep time that teams have had. Um, but I do like the Yankees in this game. Uh, I think it's going to be a really entertaining game. And these first games are going to give us a hint, uh, an idea of what to expect for the coming games and the the games, the games on uh, Friday as well as the games over the next few weeks because this is something Major League Baseball hasn't ever had to do before. They haven't had this um, a pandemic postpone um, more than half of the season before. So we're going to see something very different. And I think it might be, uh, you know, a little while before we really get an idea of just how the season is going to pan out. Uh, using your in-play betting might be a great tool uh, for betting on the games on Thursday, uh, especially with this Yankees game. Uh, but I do like the Yankees in this game. I think that they're going to pick up a win against the Nationals to start opening day. There's going to be no fans in in, uh, in attendance, so the Nationals won't be able to have that home crowd behind them uh, as they play there uh, in Washington. So I like the Yankees in this, and uh, I'm going to uh, put my money behind uh, Garrett Cole uh, leading the Yankees to a win, even if he doesn't uh, pick up the victory and, and pitch uh, five to six innings. Now, just to have a quick head-to-head, -head, uh, we can see that uh, in spring training, these teams uh, had played with the Yankees picking up what is that? Uh, two wins from three. Uh, these teams did not play last year in the 2019 season. Uh, and we have to go all the way back to the 2018 season to see uh, when those teams did meet. And uh, you can see there that the Yankees, uh, from uh, the stats there, took two of three. Uh, well, actually, they split that two games apiece uh, in a four-game series in 2018. But these teams should be a bit different this year. Um, of course, you know, that was two seasons ago. And it's a unique season. So I'm going to go with the Yankees on this one and uh, to pick up a big opening day win as they march towards possibly a World Series. Now, let's take a look at the other game that's going to be happening on Thursday, and that is the San Francisco Giants taking on the L.A. Dodgers down at Dodger Stadium. And as you can see, we have that up right here. And we're going to see um, a Giants team take to the field with starting day pitcher Johnny Cueto uh, coming into this. Now, Cueto is coming off of a, um, a really two seasons in which we really saw very little of him because in 2018 he had Tommy John surgery on his arm. And, you know, he was at one time a fireballer and a really exciting pitcher that um, had really raised eyebrows around Major League Baseball. But 
just in the last few years, just due to that injury, um, you know, he's fallen from being one of those top tier pitchers or near there to uh, being you know, a, a player who we're not really sure what we're going to get from. Um, he's coming into this season. He only pitched something like four games last year uh, for the Giants when he was able to come back from injury. Uh, it wasn't too good. He wasn't too good on the mound uh, when he came back. And um, looking at the uh, baseballreference.com, fantastic website to get all your baseball stats. Uh, the simulations for this season through July 21 had him at a 5-10 and 10 record. So, you know, we can take a lot from those simulations as we go into this season. And Cueto now around 34, 35 years old, coming off of this Tommy John surgery, being put in that opening day position by the Giants. I know, of course, again, it's a very strange, different, unique season, but I think he's going to struggle against the Dodgers and those bats in that lineup on Thursday at Dodger Stadium. Now, the Dodgers are going to be putting out Clayton Kershaw, one of their you know best pitchers over the last, whatever, 30 years, 35 years. He's going to take to the hill, and uh, he should be really good on the day. Kershaw was 16-5 and five last season and should be there or thereabout uh, this season again with the Dodgers. Again, the Dodgers are one of the two teams, along with the Yankees, that are predicted to um, fight for that World Series title. I believe it's plus 350 that both the Dodgers and the Yankees uh, are at right now from uh, my research earlier today using Bet365, which is my favorite uh, sports book. You know, of course, you've got your own, so you can check up on those odds or use an aggregator to find out which – uh, which odds that you want to use if you're betting on the futures for the World Series. But uh, the Dodgers going into the season as co-favorites with the Yankees. So I really like the Dodgers in this game. I really think that they're going to open up the season with a big win. And, you know, this is a series that they're going to be playing against the Giants. And they could really take a big step uh, winning this series, picking up two, three wins against the Giants. This is a, a longtime rivalry, of course. We all know this between these two ball clubs from you know, their history in New York all the way out to California. And now uh, you know they go into this new season, and I just don't think the Giants are going to have uh, what it takes to hang with this Dodgers team. And you know this could be a Giants team that finishes uh, around 500 uh, this season. So I'm going Dodgers on this. I like Kershaw to get the, uh, get the, uh, to get the Dodgers to start off the season well. And I just fear for, uh, Johnny Cueto coming off of arm surgery and, um, a short prep se uh, preseason. So, uh, who knows what's going to happen with him. Uh, he might struggle uh, to get out of one of those, you know, get past the first two, three innings. So, uh, going with Dodgers on this one for the first, uh, game of the season. And just before we go, let's take a look at uh, some of that head-to-head -head from last year uh, between these two teams. So as you can see there, they, uh, they did play in spring training, but I want to get past that and, and look here at last year where we can see that the Dodgers were quite good. That last series, these two teams played against each other. The Dodgers swept that, and look at that. Uh, they shut out the Giants on two occasions and posted, what is that, 20-2 to two in the run difference there. Uh, the Dodgers had a good year against the Giants. I believe they were 12, uh, 12 and 6 uh, last year against the Giants, if my memory serves me correct. So, again, I like the Dodgers for this, and I think the Dodgers are going to be the team to beat in the National League. Forget what the Washington Nationals did last year. I think the Dodgers are going to be, again, the team to beat in the NL. So, guys, that is all for today. We've given you two big picks for opening day on Thursday, July 23rd. Of course, you can go over to Z Code System and use the VIP Club and use all the tools that we have there to get up to date on uh, the picks and the predictions for Friday, July 24th, the second day of opening day uh, in Major League Baseball. Also, be sure to check out the blog uh, on zcodesystem.com backslash blog for our baseball predictions because we also have the line reversals tool showcased on there. And you can go and see how the smart money is moving uh, with these games coming up this week. So, guys, good luck. Thank you for tuning in to Zcode System on YouTube. Please, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and like it. And also subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on all of our videos that we post here every week, whether it is 
uh, baseball, basketball, football, hockey, soccer, whatever sport that you're wanting to bet on, even MMA, we're going to be posting videos here and you can go back and check out some of the old videos and uh, some of the different things that we've posted here and get all up to date on things. And uh, we hope that you're enjoying yourself and uh, have a great time betting on the baseball this week because it's back. Finally, America's game. So guys, good luck this weekend. We'll see you soon uh, and have a good time betting on baseball from Z-Code System.